After years of pining over them, I finally bought myself a used electronic drum set. It was, however, lacking a second crash cymbal. After doing some research, I decided to try and build my own crash cymbal trigger. Prior to this video, I've made three of these cymbal triggers, each one of them a little better than the previous, but in the end, all have eventually failed or fallen apart. Here's what the last one looked like after about a month of hard playing. I considered building the cymbal a similar way to how I made my kick drum trigger pad utilizing a microphone, but decided instead to use a piezo sensor and some junk material. For the purposes of this video, I decided to try and make one more. I found an old frisbee laying around that would act as the body of my cymbal, and a troubled quarter inch patch cable. I bought a piezo for two dollars at the source, or Radio Shack for my American friends and found an old mouse pad that would provide some padding. I drilled a hole through the center of the frisbee. This would allow me to mount the cymbal on a stand. Unfortunately, while drilling, the frisbee actually cracked. I didn't have another frisbee around, and since this won't affect the functionality, I continued on after taping up the crack. I spray painted the frisbee black so it would match my other E symbols. I took apart the piezo to remove the sensor. This was a bit of a pain, but eventually I got it out. I cut off the broken end of my patch cable and stripped the two wires. I soldered the two wires to the piezo and taped up the soldered connections to insulate the bare wire from each other. Cut out a piece of the mouse pad slightly bigger than the piezo and used some spray adhesive to glue it to the mouse pad material. I cut out another piece of mouse pad and glued it to the top sandwiching the piezo between the two pieces. This will keep the piezo from being overly sensitive when the cymbal is played. I glued the mouse pad piezo sandwich to the underside of the frisbee. I drilled two small holes on either side. I used a narrow tie wrap to reinforce the piezo to the frisbee. Previously when I've made these, I've only glued and taped the piezo on and they eventually would fall off. I'm thinking this will secure them better. I drilled a couple more holes through the frisbee and used another tie wrap to hold the cable tight and near the center. I glued some of the leftover mouse pad to the front top of the frisbee to absorb some of the impact from my drumsticks. Once it was dry, I trimmed off the excess. I mounted the cymbal on a stand ran the cable to the drum brain and plugged in the quarter inch end to the auxiliary input. I assigned it to a cymbal and gave it a shot. I was expecting to have to adjust the sensitivity, but it worked out great on my first try. Overall, I think this cymbal trigger will prove to be my best yet, but I do anticipate it will fall apart if played fairly hard, especially with the already existing crack. I have purchased another E symbol, so I don't actually need this one. If you would like to have this symbol trigger built for this video, please consider becoming one of my patrons on Patreon. Click the link for more info. In the meantime, let me know in the comments section below what you think about this DIY symbol trigger. Any ideas on how to make it more durable? My name's John, the Subterranean Music Maker. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more of them, please subscribe. Until then, remember that the falling tide lowers all the notes.